This award honors an alumnus for a significant accomplishment during the previous year. Jenny Stevens is CEO of the Center for Heirs Property Preservation. Heirs property is land passed down through family generations without a written will, a common occurrence in South Carolina where access to legal advice was often limited by segregation or poverty. After several generations, property may be owned jointly by multiple heirs, hindering a landowner's ability to manage, sell, or mortgage their property, and can even lead to loss of the property itself. Over the years, the center has helped thousands of landowners establish legal ownership. Jenny's exceptional efforts led to her appointment last year to the Agriculture Subcommittee of the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Equity Commission addressing historical discrimination at the agency. We are proud to honor her with this award as a distinguished alumna of the college. I have the pleasure of being the CEO at the Center for Heirs Property Preservation, um, a nonprofit organization that provides education and legal services and forestry technical assistance to families. There's always an opportunity for individuals from the College of Charleston to help the Center for Heirs Property Preservation. I'm a first generation college student on my mother's side. And because I'm an only child and I did not want to be too far away from my mom, um, I opted to come to the College of Charleston. My favorite place on campus is what now I think is called the mall. I enjoyed walking under the moss covered trees and just being outside, it reminded me of home. While I was at the college, my two favorite professors were Dr. Ba and Dr. Linda Plunkett. Um, Dr. Ba was my favorite because he taught African American history. He provided a great perspective in relation to the, the slave trade and how Africans arrived in uh, Charleston. And for Dr. Linda Plunkett, is she was an accountant or CPA. So she gave me my love for accounting. My advice to students is that you take the time to make some great friendships at the beginning, because those are the friendships that are gonna help you um, endure college life. Have fun, but also on some occasions endure college life. I'm glad to be an alumna of the College of Charleston. One, because it's a very prestigious school. Um, and you know, when people ask you, well, so where did you graduate from? And you say the College of Charleston, they're like, wow. You know, there are people who come here from all over the U.S. because they're beaches, but they also um, appreciate the academic success at the college. So I am proud to be an alumna of the College of Charleston. I graduated with my bachelor's here from the College of Charleston, but I returned probably two years later to begin to work on my master's of public administration. So when I think about the contributions the college has made to the community, I think about the projects that the MPA program has done. The Riley Institute has, has, you know, has worked with nonprofits, with governments, and utilizing the skills of the students um, to just come up with some really brilliant solutions to community problems. President Chu and I are honored to present the Alumna of the Year Award to Jenny Stevens. Thank you. It is an honor to be here tonight receiving the Alumna of the Year Award for my work at the Center for Heirs Property Preservation, known internally as CHIP. Um, I must start by saying an African proverb that may seem cliche. It takes a village to raise a child. It is by God's grace and the villagers' contributions that helped me to get where I am today. Please allow me to offer thanks to some of the villagers, some of the members of the village. To my mom, 
Erlene Stevens, a single parent who raised this only child after the demise of my father when I was five years old. To my family and spiritual leaders who assisted my mom with rearing me. To my friend Jacqueline Wilson, whom I met in 1985 while attending the college. Thank you for accepting my invitation to lunch to join my small team and follow the vision of your crazy, overachieving friend. <laughs> um, to my friend Vonda Evans, who agreed to travel to Charleston from Walterboro twice weekly so that we could obtain our MPA degrees from the college. To the donors, funders, and landowners who invested in CHIP because they saw its impact. Last but not least, to my chief officers and board members, you believe in me and you are supporting my vision to create an alliance of partner organizations that will ensure that heirs, property, landowners in the U.S. and its territories will have the tools that he or she needs to protect their land and make it a working asset. So now, of course, there are other members of the tribe, but I only have three minutes, so I can't say, I'm gonna, um, <laughs> I'm gonna say an unspoken thank you to them. <clears throat> But in my closing, I would say, villagers, congratulations. You did an excellent job of caring for me by allowing me to develop, flourish, and realize my hopes and my dreams. Thank you.